All right. Just wanted to do a short little update on some knives that I got and a few other things. And something that uh, just I just realized. I totally you, You'll probably think that it's stupid, but whatever. Um, a few weeks ago, I did a review on the... Uh, let me scoot up here. The uh, Redention clone. Uh, carried it like two weeks, three weeks maybe. In and out. <laughs> Got some shit in the back spacer, whatever. Ah, uh, smells weird. <clears throat> Strange. Uh, this knife, man, I'm honest with you guys. Like I told you that it's amazing. Uh, pfft. I haven't had any issues whatsoever. The lockup is still super solid. I mean, it's still pretty fucking sharp. I haven't like, I haven't gone to town with, well, it's kind of dull up on the tip, but that's what I was using the most when I was cutting shit was the very, very end of the blade. And it's such a fat blade that it's like using it for everyday shit for me. Like, I just need something like sharp and thinly ground, I guess is how I would say it. You know, it's just being such a big knife. It's just cool to have. Uh, but yeah, I back up what I say 100%. Uh, this knife is awesome. Still smooth, still sharp. 120 bucks. Uh -oh. Some people pay what? Three, two grand maybe for fucking Redention? 120. Seriously. Do it. Just, just do it! Stop talking about your dreams and just do it! Sorry, I was a little uh, <coughs> Shia LaBeouf there. Anyways, next one I just want to show you. I, just, I got this a few weeks ago, too. Been carrying it until recently. I'll show you why. Uh, the Um Nums on Clone. Picked it up. 55 60 bucks, I think it was, on eBay. But it was in America. Some, some guy was selling it. So I was like, all right, I'll try it. Because I had the old Um Nums on, the, the, the Tonto with the new uh, uh, pivot and stuff. Great knives. Love them. Don't know why I got rid of them, but it's, that's the game. Everybody buys shit, and then they sell it, and... That's what I do. And then regret it. Most most likely, it's like... Regret. We're selling shit that, you know... That I didn't really want to. Anyways. Um Nums on clone. Same setup as this Redention. Uh, titanium. <sighs> the pocket clip's actually stainless, but it's, uh, but it's stonewashed, as you can see. So that's pretty rad. Uh, the blade itself flicks right out. Smooth as shit. Uh, when I got it, oh my god, well, I don't know if they put this edge on that, but it is fucking out, it's, it's outrageous, like, it's so fucking sharp, like, you can just see the grind lines on it are super even and smooth, like, whoever sharpened this did a fantastic job, the guy said that's how he got it, and it's rad, fucking um nums on it's a little bit thicker than the actual um nums on it's hard to tell like uh i mean i owned a few so i felt it thinner in the hands uh one problem i do have with this knife is uh the bar now the release has like a little groove cut into it and there's no fucking way that my camera's gonna catch that but right in there um when you go to disengage it you really got to stick your finger in there. Like, <laughs> that's what she said. But uh, seriously, though, like, it flicks out fine in that groove. As long as you bring your finger down further and unlock it a little bit lower than that groove, because if you try to unlock it, like, up here, like, up high on the lock, like, it is a bitch and a half to fucking get your hand. And it just smushes your fucking finger. Like, it le it'll leave a little track mark on your finger. And that might not be all of them, you know. They might, some of them might lock up great. And just be like super easy to disengage right off the bat, which, I mean, quality control, that's not something that they're going to be like, hmm, he has a problem with opening his knife, he's just a bitch and his fingers aren't strong enough. Uh, so yeah, love this, carried it, pretty much kicked the Redention out of my pocket for a while, because, you know, every time you get a new knife, you carry it for a while. So a few weeks later, just happened across this, the uh, Sage 2 on uh, eBay fucking i bid on it and i didn't think i was gonna win it was like 104 dollars or something ridiculous like that and it fucking i went i went all the way through the like four days worth of nobody bidding and i won it for 104 dollars didn't have a box that's all right i don't give a fuck i lose the boxes anyways but um this thing's cool man sharp 
thinly ground s30 v still really like that the uh, para 2 was pretty fucking awesome too for that steel but i see anything anything that's coming from spider co from the taichung factory is just balls on quality like i mean it's they they check their shit meticulously because some of the nicest knives i've seen on the market are coming from china and you know other countries america's like leave our shit here make our knives here well we outsource everything you know so when it comes to building shit in the united states it costs more money that way you know there there you go your knives cost more and it doesn't feel like you get that much better quality just the fact that it's made in america and that's what people love i guess or something that's that's what i'm told anyways one thing i don't like about this knife great on the uh the the flipper or the 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 spider hole that's cool you can do your little back that's how i like to flick it out is that middle finger you know fuck you but here's my knife bitch but uh one thing i don't like is there is no lanyard hole I guess you could tie a lanyard against this or around this last post. The knife just barely misses it. But uh, as far as like, um, there's a couple other knives that do that. I had a Boker Nano that, or my Boker Nano is the same way. I just tied it onto the loop. Over time, just opening and closing actually splits it in there, and you have to replace it every couple. Which I did anyways. I was always changing them, but this one, I wish I had a lanyard hole. That would be. I don't really know where it would go. Maybe right, maybe right on the edge here. Like that would be cool. Totally miss it. I feel like it's missing that. I feel like that should be there. Like this was like designed after, or it was like they took design cues from uh, Chris Reeves' integral, you know, setup and stuff. It's just like Sabinzas have fucking pocket or uh, lanyard holes. I just like to have one, if that makes sense. Even if I don't use the actual one. It's great. It's great to have, I think, because I like to be colorful and switch my shit up every now and then. But anyways, just got this guy today. Fucking, this knife is awesome. It's it's comfortable. It's it's fast. It's quality, man. Like, the quality control, I'm telling you, Tai Chung, it's, it's fucking crazy. And it's sharp, dude. Like, I don't even, I, ca I can't even, I can't even. I thought I had something to cut, but fuck, I ain't got shit around here except for, I don't know what the fuck that is. Rubber of some sort? Whatever. Fucking dogs chewing shit up. Uh, but one thing I don't like about this knife, which, nitpicking, because I'm pretty, I'm pretty, uh, open to anything, like, just, because this kicked the sage out of my pocket, of course, because it's new. But, uh, the one thing I don't like, the lanyard hold has one, that's great. Uh, the lock covering the majority of the back of the fucking knife right here, or the back of this spider hole. And I'm sure that the whole point is to open it with your thumb. I'm guessing that was part of the whole design. His designs are probably, who knows, they might be ambidextrous or whatever. But you just can't, oh fuck, first fucking try. Oh, bitch, nigger. I just, I can't get it out of there. Like, I can't flick it with a finger. And it fucked up my fingernail. Awesome. Nice. But, uh, yeah. That's it. Use your finger. I mean, your thumb. I guess that works. It sucks because you like flicking knives out like I do. That's... I don't know. If I would have known that before, I don't... I guess just me not looking. I guess that was my own fucking fault for not noticing that. Because that's a huge deal for me. But I'll keep this knife. I think it's great. Plus the resale value is really cool. So if I if I ever go to sell it. I could sell it for more than I spent. And still make money. Not be out. Or you know like always me fucking going backwards on knives. I mean, I don't know what the problem is. Fucking ridiculous. You trade all the way. You trade your entire collection down to something that you really want, and then you know you have it for a while. Then you trade that off, and then you're kind of back at square one where you didn't have any. Now you sold all the ones you had and your nice one, and uh, that sucks. It's my little moose. Poops. It's awesome. Anyways, so seriously, go buy one of these. Uh, if I were you, I'd get the black model with the, uh, the bronze, this, 
is bronze. The backspacer is bronze. It looks kick-ass. Uh, as a matter of fact, if I would have seen that one first, I probably would have bought it first. But I saw this one and just, like, freaked out. I was like, I'm buying that now. Holy shit. I don't have the money to, but I'm going to buy it anyways. So that's pretty much what I did. Just bought it for no fucking reason. And now I find myself having this heavy pocket knife that I'm not probably going to carry much anymore now that I've got these spider codes. Those are, it'll be like my once-in-a-while blade. But, uh, yeah, that's all I really wanted to say, just show you these new, these few new knives that I got, but, uh, to, to, to tell you that the quality of these clones is just going up and up and up, like, the more I see the clones, the more I'm just like, man, if I see one in a knife that I really, really want and just not gonna spend the money, then I'll go with the clone, because, uh, I don't give a fuck. We outsource everything else to China. They practically own us, so, yeah, here we are. But anyways... Comments down below or not. I don't give a fuck. Uh, I just want to show you my knives and uh, fucking flicker hole. Fuck. That sucks. But made up for by the sage because it's nice. And um num zong clone, which are the um living some some clone. Um num zong clone. Go buy one. It's nice. Redencion clone. If you had any sneaky suspicion of buying a Redencion, I hope not. Spending that much money on a knife is crazy. But, you know, I've spent lots of money on my knife, so I guess it's not that crazy. Some people buy shoes that are like hundreds of dollars. And I just, I'm just like 25 bucks. That's that's most I want to spend on that shit. Anyways, leave your comments down below, and that's how we'll do it.